we're going to entitle this sermon, Catching the Kingdom, okay? The kingdom is more caught than it is taught. We're going to teach about the kingdom today, but, but I want you to know that just by information, you, you will not grasp the kingdom. You've got to catch it. We start off the beginning of this year reading the scripture in John chapter 1 where the disciple John said, the thing that we've received, the thing that makes us the apostles of Christ that is getting notoriety from, from even the religious world of our day is not that we went to college somewhere and are so smart. It's that we have been with Jesus. The Pharisees looked at him and said, man, what's, what's different about them than that they possess something? They've been with Jesus. When people look at us today and say, you know, I'm not really interested, what, what are they saying? They're saying they cannot see that we have spent time with Jesus. Are you here? It all comes down to time spent with Jesus. It doesn't come down to time spent with someone else. It's time spent with somebody that knows God will help you. But at the, at the end of the day, you have to spend time with Jesus. And John said it this way, man, of his fullness, we have all received and grace for grace. Grace came into our lives. The thing we talked about today in the beginning, the anointing has come into our lives. The presence of God, the glory of God has changed us. We're mere men just like you, but something is abiding on us. Something has gotten around us. We have caught something today. We've caught the kingdom. We've caught the kingdom. We don't just go to church. We don't just build churches. We don't just have services. Man, these guys didn't win the world by having Sunday services. Hello? Yeah. We need to go back and read the Bible. I mean, if we're not going to read the Bible, let's not be Christians. Man, these people won the world because it was infectious. It was contagious to have somebody around that's been around Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You come to churches today, man, it's hard to find him. Because everybody, sometimes it's not just, it's not it's deep, dark sins. Sometimes there are deep sins in churches, but it's not usually deep, dark sins. It's just that little veil of darkness. It's that little shadow that the enemy likes to operate in where he says, hey, you got a nine to five job, man. You got a lot on your plate. I mean, you can't really afford to be thinking about the call of God. Quiet in this church, man. You can't, you don't really have time. You can't really serve in the church, man. But hey, I got news for you. The word minister in the Bible, it, it only means one thing, servant. Yeah. It doesn't mean Hollywood, glitz, glamour, gold, girls, lights, action, camera, camera action. <laughs> so what it means? You're not trying to get ahead. You are dead in Christ, man. He nailed you to a cross. You're trying to rise up in him and believe that. Amen. You've already been raised up in him. You're just trying to believe him. The challenge is, do you believe? Do you believe in this kingdom? 